All right, so over the course of the next few weeks, this channel is going to be featuring some uh, unique rifle system components, uh, starting with the Lewis Machine and Tool monolithic rail platform um, rifle. This is an AR-15 that I had converted by D. Wilson Manufacturing uh, for 6.5 Grendel, which is not a factory offering. Uh, so we're today at the range, we're going to do some load development. I've put my load developing loop hold on top. That's an eight and a half by 25 times optic. And we'll be doing 90 grain TNT load development over AR comp. And I'll show you the results of the load development. Okay, so this is the bearing 640 clip-on prototype. Uh, this is the second hunt tonight, and uh, in between the first hunt and the second hunt, I made a couple of changes. I started load developing for this specific rifle because I'm down to my last 39 rounds of uh, ammunition for it. So I took the system completely off the rifle, uh, mounted a day scope on there, did some load development, and then put the system back on the rifle. So I've had it on and off, both the day optic and the clip on. And so without making any adjustments, I'm going to fire down range at 100 yards and see uh, where zero is. After establishing uh, whether I need to make an adjustment or not to zero, uh, the other item that I changed this week was I used the reticle menu button icon within the clip on and overlaid it to the day optic location and it seems to have uh, digital zoom tracking correctly. So I think that's what that function's for, and so I will, I will take three shots, one at base magnification, one at two times, and one at four times, and see if the bullets impact about the same uh, point. Uh, other than that, we'll get out and hunt with it again tonight, and hopefully have some more footage from the field for you. Okay, so this is a zero verification at 100 yards. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to focus. Uh, there we go. And I am on base magnification within the clip on and going to six times on the day optic. Checking focus again. And I will shoot at the top. Chemical hand warmer. Okay, gun is made safe. No loss of focus, no loss of power. The clip on seems to be doing well. Let's go check. All right, we're back. Um, my zero verification, it wasn't that far off, having taken both the day optic and the clip on off, but it was not true, so I made a slight adjustment to my zero. And now I'm going to check how the points of impact shift, if they do at all, under digital zoom. The bearing 640 clip on uh, has added a feature of digital zoom on, in, when in clip on mode. I am at one times base magnification. Let me go ahead and cycle through it so that you see what I'm looking at. On the video. So that is two times and that is four times and then back to one time. One time digital mag going to six on the day optic. We will take one shot and my spotter will call on the lower hand, uh, hand warmer if he can see the impact. I'm going to aim dead center of it.
I believe it is just off the hand warmer at 3 o'clock. Okay, so he's calling right edge of hand warmer, and now I'm going to back down to two times on the day optic. I'm going to step up to two times on the clip on. And I am looking now as I progress through the day optics magnification if it gets too blurry, but it keeps very good focus all the way up to six times on the day optic. I'm now adjusting some focus on the clip on. Here we go. Second shot. Um, an inch high from there. Okay. I'm backing down to two times on the day optic. I am going to max zoom on the clip on, which is four times. At two times in the day optic, it looks great, and now I'm going to go all the way up to six times. And I'm just now starting to get some slight pixelization, um, but it's a very usable image. And I'm going to go ahead and take this third shot right now. Very close to the last shot. Okay, and I'm going to take the zoom and come back to native. Dial the daylight down to two. right in front? Yep. Okay. Shooter ready? Shooter ready.
three, two, one. Safe? Safe. Yeah. Two, two, one. <laughs>